in today's video guys we're gonna be checking out the play diamond wakizashi sword yo what is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more call of duty black ops cold war so in today's video guys as you all did see we are gonna be checking out the pretty looking play diamond wakizashi sword so in yesterday's video if you guys haven't seen it make sure you guys go check it out basically i just went over the golden viper wakizashi sword and a lot of you guys were really excited to actually see the play diamond wakizashi sword and i mean just by looking at this thing you guys can definitely see it looks super pretty like it has a ton of plague diamonds on the handles and i kind of wish it had plague diamonds somewhere on the blade at least but the fact that it has a purple blade still is cool regardless it just sucks that you can't see it here dude because it is way too dark so before we do check out the plague diamond wakizashi sword guys call of duty did add a bundle within the store that i thought looks really cool and i do want to check it out so the bundle that call of duty did add is this tracer pack indigo bundle this pack features weapons that change the tracer fire to a blazing blue so starting off the bundle we do get this great pacific assault rifle blueprint which of course does come with blue tracer fire and i mean just looking at this gun dude it looks super clean it has like gold really shiny blue which i love dude like that blue definitely makes the gun look way better and all in all there's really nothing much i can say besides this gun looks clean and i really do like it dude next up we do have this turbo powered smg blueprint which of course also changes the tracer fire to blue we also do get the sacred elephant charm fade to blue calling card azure ops emblem lightning speed sticker and last but not least the intersection reticle but i mean yeah guys with that bundle out of the way and everything let's check out the plague diamond wakizashi sword so here is the plague diamond wakizashi sword in game guys and i mean i am certainly not disappointed with how it looks in game like it just looks super duper pretty and i mean i also was talking about how excited i was to see it in yesterday's video and i mean it's definitely worth it dude like i know a lot of you guys were also excited to see the plague diamond wakizashi sword like for some reason plague diamond just looks good no matter what gun or weapon you put on like it's actually crazy and it really does make plague diamond one of the best cameras in general just put on any gun or weapon dude like it just looks so pretty the plague diamonds look pretty i guess one critique i would have for the plague diamond wakizashi sword is that i wish that there were more diamonds on it and i feel like that's the thing with any plague diamond camera though is that i just wish there were more plague diamonds on it dude like imagine if the blade was plague diamond that would just look so sick but regardless dude i am not disappointed at all dude i swear something's wrong with my audio though like for some reason i'm hearing a bit of buzzing and i don't know if you guys can hear that i'm very sorry if you guys can hear that but it's so weird dude like i haven't actually changed anything with my audio and then all of a sudden it just starts like glitching out or something it's like this static dude and it's just so weird but i mean since i am showing you guys the play diamond wakizashi sword today honestly i am super excited about the dark ether wakizashi sword and what that's gonna look like dude because i mean the menu screen like you guys saw before it is way too dark it doesn't do the cameras enough justice like definitely seeing it in game looks way better than in the menu screen dude and i honestly just cannot wait to see how the dark ether wakizashi sword looks like just seeing it change from light purple to dark purple to black with like little speckles of red in it it just looks so sick dude and the different texture that the camera makes the weapons and stuff just looks super sick so i honestly am just super excited to see what it looks like dude because i mean personally and i said this in yesterday's video as well i believe dark ether is like one of if not the best camera to put on any weapon or gun within black or cold war dude to be honest i'm actually gonna be so sad once i've done all the videos on the wakizashi sword dude because there's not gonna be any weapons or guns coming out anymore dude until season two because we've already got the sledgehammer the street sweeper shotgun and of course now the wakizashi sword those are all supposed to be coming out within season one but since those have all come out and we have like a month or so to wait before season two actually does come out i'm gonna be so sad dude i mean of course all the season one reloaded content hasn't even come out yet like of course the main thing i'm waiting for is that new zombies map dude firebase z it looks so sick dude like i honestly can't wait to see the gameplay trailer whenever they drop that which i'm assuming is like a week or so from now corner camper <laughs> but honestly that's just like the main thing i'm looking forward to dude like i can't wait to make a video on that new map actually explore it by any means i'm not gonna go to like everything in that one video like an easter egg and stuff because for some reason i just don't understand how people actually figure out the easter egg and stuff on the first day dude like i don't know if they just search up a guide and it magically pops up or something but it's just crazy like i don't understand how the zombies community does it damn I miss that. <laughs> but I can't wait to explore it, dude, because apparently Five Base Z is actually set in like the middle of the Vietnam forest, which from what we've seen within the campaign, it just looks super pretty, dude. So like, I honestly just can't wait to see the scenery and stuff. Can't wait to play the map. And I mean, speaking of new zombie stuff, I really haven't talked about the new zombies mode cranked. Like I'm pretty sure I only touched on it a little bit, but not really. And I have actually played it and it really is good to actually grind out your cameras through cranks. Like if you need total kills or something, you just hop in the crank because there's basically a zombie everywhere you turn, dude. Don't 
only thing that sucks, especially doing it solo, is that sometimes it feels like you don't have enough time and you definitely get overwhelmed very, very easily by the zombies. Like, especially when I was trying to go for my Wakazashi sword camos, it definitely felt like I got overwhelmed super quickly, dude. So that's like a downside and I like barely even made it past round 10 from that. And in terms of actually level up your gun or sword, I feel like you level it up quicker just by doing regular D-Machina. Now, I don't know if that's actually true, but from me playing it, that's what it felt like, dude. Like with double XP, I went into cranked, I tried it, barely leveled up my weapon and I did the same thing, but hopped into D-Machina and I leveled up like all the way to level 30, dude. So I don't know if the XP gain is different from D-Machina to cranked, but I definitely just recommend hopping into regular D-Machina if you guys do want to actually use the double XP. So I mean, yeah, guys, that was the play Diamond Wakizashi Sword. Still one of the prettiest looking cameras on any weapon or gun, hands down. And I actually realized I never talked about actually getting it, dude. I mean, of course, in terms of getting it, you do need actually a lot golden viper on the combat knife and I believe the grenade launcher. I mean, as you guys can see, it says unlock the gold camera for one melee weapon. So I'm assuming you could either get gold on the Wakizashi Sword, Sledgehammer or combat knife. But I mean, when I actually unlocked Plague Diamond, I did it through the combat knife since that was the only melee weapon in at the time. So to be safe, I'll just do the combat knife. But I mean, you guys could give it a shot trying to unlock Plague Diamond on something other than the combat knife to see if it actually works. But I mean, like I said in yesterday's video, I only really had trouble with elite eliminations just because they don't really support it quick enough, dude. Like killing them is actually pretty easy, especially when you've pack a punched them, you go to your perks, you've upgraded the rarity. It's been like three hits to get rid of each Megaton, even when it does split. But it's just the fact that you actually do need 10 elite eliminations and waiting for those 10 Megatons, dude. But everything else is relatively easy to actually get. And of course, it's just time consuming level up your gun stuff, but definitely worth it for that bad boy right there, guys. 100%. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, show your support. I appreciate all of it. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the bell notifications for some more quality content like this because I play basically every single day. But again, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. That was the Plate Diamond Wakizashi Sword. See you all next one.